One of the places you're gonna to wanna to visit in Chester are the city walls. They go back 2,000 years to the Roman times. Uh, they expand about two miles around the city. It's a great area to visit, get your legs moving, uh, look at how the city has grown over the centuries. There's beautiful sites with the river, uh, you know, wrapped around uh, the walls, but you can definitely see the Roman influence and in what it's played in the history of this amazing city in England. Several sites in Chester are accessible by the city walls. You can visit Chester Cathedral and also its falconry school. There was an original church built here in the Roman style or the Norman style in the year 1092. Then 200 years later, the church was completely rebuilt uh, in the Gothic style and it took another 300 years to see this amazing structure that stands in Chester today. I highly recommend taking the one hour tower tour. You'll climb to the top of the central tower and see the city and two countries. England and Wales. The professional guide will share stories of monks who use the tower for over 900 years. Behind me is the East Gate clock. Uh, at this location where the clock is, uh, bridge is standing is where the entrance to the 2,000 year old Roman fortress once stood. And this is the second most photographed clock in all of England. Uh, the first one would be, of course, Big Ben in London. Another spot is in Chester is the Roman Amphitheater and nearby ruins. The Amphitheater dates back to the first century AD. I recommend staying at Ye Old King's Head only if you're okay with things that go bump in the night. It's been an amazing three days here in Chester. We were able to visit the cathedral, learn when it was first built in 1092, and how it progressed to become the most, one of the most beautiful cathedrals in all of England. We were able to walk the city walls, which expand two miles around the city, and which were built 2,000 years ago by the Romans. We were able to also visit the Northgate clock and learn about its history and, sh and show you how beautiful it is. We also visited several pubs, watched some amazing uh, World Cup soccer, but now it's time to head north. We're taking the train uh, to Liverpool. We'll see you there and thanks for checking in. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're planning a trip to Europe, allow us to design the trip for you. We can provide expert advice to ensure your trip is one you'll never forget. So please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.